Hey everybody, Justin here. Welcome back to Justin Talks Puppets, where we talk puppets, muppets, and more. Today, guys, I'm back with another amazing Folk Manus puppet review, but just not any puppet review. Uh, their Disney collection, uh, as you know if you've seen my other videos, uh, they have a, a wide variety of Disney puppets. And today, I get to uh, review the one, the only, this uh, very detailed, very lifelike Simba uh, Cub Puppet from the live-action Lion King movie by Disney. Uh, so he looks just like he does in the live-action film. I mean, just look at the, the, the fur and his ears and the eyes and the nose and the whiskers and all this. He's uh, one lifelike looking cub. What always continues to amaze me with Folk Manus is their puppets are just so detailed with any animal or character that you get. But they really do an amazing job, especially as a Disney fan, on these Disney uh, character puppets. And I'm always intrigued on how they, uh, how the tag will look along with the puppet. So, as you see, it says Disney's The Lion King, based off the live-action movie. There's the Simba right there, Folk Manus puppets. And when you open the tag, it demonstrates on how to puppeteer Simba. So if you don't know how to, it, it shows you. You put your hand through like his little chest pocket right there, and you open and close his mouth. And then with your other hand, you move his tail. Very uh, soft. The fur is just awesome. He uh, feels like a, a real lion cub. And uh, if you have any uh, little kids, brothers and sisters, or you're just a Disney fan in general, I definitely suggest that you should add this to your, your collection because it's just very cool to have, uh, not only puppet-wise, but as a Disney fan. Like I said, a lot of detail on this little guy. From his paws to his ears. I'm do a little spin here. There we go. On over. But uh, here's his tail. And that is detailed out. Back paws and everything like that. Some other cool features about this little guy is that he is six inches tall from his ear to his paw. So he's kind of sitting like he is now. That'd be six inches. And then if you turn him this way, so if you're holding him kind of like a dog or a cat from his head to his rear end, he is 24 inches in width. So yeah, he's, he's I would say he's the size of any a regular medium sized plush that you get from any Disney store or amusement park or anything like that. So to operate Simba what you would do is, is he has this little pocket right here by his chest. You would slide your hand inside there like this and then you would use this part of your hand to operate Simba, make him talk, maybe roar. Very easy, just open and close his mouth to make him sing. dance and then with your other hand you operate his tail by just moving it back and forth you grab a little part of his tail you do this and that makes it look like his tail is moving in the background so if you like this little guy and you want to add him in your family and have them bring some Akuna Matata into your life, well, definitely don't be shy. Go in the description below right now. I posted a link where you can know how to pick up your own Simba Cub and add some fun uh, into your family. Maybe you guys watch the movie, you can have Simba sing along or do some lip sync stuff on TikTok. And uh, I don't know, this guy is just a barrel of fun. He hangs out with Timon and Pumbaa, so how could he not be? But, uh, but yeah, go in the description below, pick him up there. And if you guys want to see me review any other Folk Mountainous puppets or Disney puppets or any puppets in general, comment below, let me know. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later.